Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 And coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. Fighting out of Lisbon, Portugal, Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hook to the head block. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, You've man. You got to check these kicks, or you're going to be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself 
before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Head kick lands. Oh, a huge block there. Big knee there to the chest. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just over three minutes now to go. Man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, big elbow. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in big martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Big power shots landing. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! Offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big knee there. Oh, straight right. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Just missed with the left there. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Final seconds here. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, he lands a hook. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Big kick lands. Well, 
he's working in some solid leg kicks here in DC. Not just one, right? A combination of kicks to the leg, and oftentimes it only takes one to render you a one-legged fight. I mean, he's throwing it back to back, and he is just eating up that leg. Eventually, his opponent's gonna have to switch stances to try to change up the target. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. The right hand just misses. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, what a punch. Just over three minutes to go. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Dig and kick. Just a slip there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. liver kick lands under the elbow. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. How about that shin? Goes to the body there. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. What a tricky head kick. Big leg kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? with that attempt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Going orthodox now. Well, it's one thing to have like Oh! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. Great punch. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Connects with the right. And that's the end of round number two.
Yeah, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. strike lands there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Big body kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do it. Got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Lee's shot there is blocked. Right underneath the elbow, the body kick lands. Back and forth we go. Outstanding kick there by Lee. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Punch no good. He loaded up on that right hand too. Trust out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh! Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, diving punch lands. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. It's a good right hand right there. Nice body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And that one certainly found the target. Big head kick lands. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he continues to work the body here. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, huge block! Wow! 
of round three. Nice straight punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, head kick blocked by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, that's a nice strike. <laughs> Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Flipped him with the right hand there. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that come. Oh! He went high on that one. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Nice kick. Leg kick. Blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Whiffs on that offering.
Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Under a minute to go in round four. Visibly limping here. Able to check that kick as well. Misses with that punch. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Just out of range with that left hook. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. nice. So there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. Certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations yeah. of your life, your relationship, you're, you're, you're fighting everything. Nice strike. Big body kick land. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. You got to check these low leg kicks. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Trying to hammer that lead leg. You have to do more than that if you want to keep it up. Nice pocket. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. He's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Punches there. Sneaky head kick. Big punch from the clinch. Big kick. Ooh, another shot to the head. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the game. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Oh, big punch land. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Under two minutes now with which to work. Still nice body. Oh! 
strong defense there to block the shot. He's out! It's over! It's over! <laughs> Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 26 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that.